Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So this is the final review of the Herofan class, uh, a DLC that I've played for more than 75 hours. That that they, they're about close to 80 hours. So I have a lot of fun with this uh, this DLC, this class. Uh, for sure. Now I've made um, uh, previously. I've made uh, early review on this class, um, so you can check out that video as well. Not a lot of points uh, uh, change, except the fact that it is a lot stronger after the patch. So I'm going to go into the detail just a bit. But overall, it is a very fun class, especially if you have already played other base class as well as the uh, Battle Sister. Uh, DLC. There's no tech priest, um, but the uh, the rest of it you can you can just assemble a whole squad there. Uh, the main difference between the, this class and the typical pet class from other ARPG is that um, not only do these classes, uh, the, all, all these pets uh, have their own skill tree. Uh, so a scaled down version of their their, their, their full version. Uh, also they have their um, gear, gear slot as well, plus the uh, the perks uh, that will synergize uh, with each other and with the hero as well. So I thought it's uh, it's very interesting. Uh, the, playing this class would require you to uh, do a lot of uh, a hot bar dancing. I would say <laughs> back in my Marvel Heroes days, you need to tap, keep tapping into the. Uh, uh, between the main character and the retinue member to order them around and ordering them around give them temperate uh, temperate uh, temperate buff uh, give them xp and if you pick the right perk and so on will also give them the suppression as well so it's important to keep ordering your retinue member uh, on the difficult um, scenario now at the back of this um, uh, this video here is the uh, level 115 uh, Supreme Mission. I don't usually do 15, uh, 15 level above me. Usually I do like 10, 12. That's my comfort zone. Um, if a class is very strong, I try to do a 20 sometimes. But the, uh, So I'm still gearing the, the Hero Fan class. Uh, I've got quite a number of nice uh, ancient gear. The rest of it are also ancient, but they're not quite the, the build that I have in mind. But they're, they're pretty decent. So um, 15 level above. I would say uh, if you just read, uh, watch this until the end, uh, I would say it's pretty comfortable, uh, surprisingly. The retinue members definitely are stronger than before the patch and that is um, you know from the observation I play even some of the tougher map with the Mac and so on. Uh, but there are still scenarios whereby the whole whole, whole team may get wiped, but you see later on, and um, and reviving them also need a little bit of uh, kind of luck whether they, they, they actually die right at the boss uh, footstep, and uh, probably it's very hard for you to revive them. Um, so my points about this class still remain. Um, the uh, the I think the. Uh, there should be some utility whereby I can do a faster revival and or mass revival and or revival without be, being having to be physically there. Uh, make them a little bit um, kind of easier to kind of turn, turn back the ties if, if they all kind of like fall. Uh, can the hero, hero fan class uh, stand, I mean, stand on his own to, to deal damage and take down enemies? Yeah, of course the answer is yes, but it's just a lot slower, a lot more dangerous. Um, so the latest patch, yes, is heading to the right direction to give the overall uh, damage reduction buff, uh, overall kind of um, durability of all the uh, retinue member uh, buff certain cl um, retinue members such as such as the battle sister to be more supportive of the entire squad so I think that those are really good direction but I think can 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 do a little bit more to, to make this class a little bit um, even more fun uh, than, than it is now but um, yeah I mean that that whole class design I think is really 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 well I like the way that it's passive beam designed such a way that uh, there's a fair bit of trade off there and that's good stuff because you at the end of the day you want to make difficult decisions and not just um, you know you pick anything and it still work. So there are some sacrifices need to be made and some 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 kind of like you know and even the perks designs are really good as well. Uh, there are you have to think through like what should be the hero perk versus what should be the uh, retinue member perk. So those are also very good. Um, and just for a little bit of context here, the hero fan class you see against this uh, level 115 um, uh, supreme mission, the hit point of my hero fan class is exceeding 10k, uh, suppression is close to 9k, 
and um, so the flat is uh, there about 34 uh, percent so it's decent uh, one third of the damage are just deflected so there's like a dodge if you play um, the, the good old marble heroes in the early days um, damage reduction is 37 percent so 36 percent it's not there to a cap yet but you know it, it does require a lot of gear sacrifice if you want to do that uh, resistance is uh, almost 60 percent so it's already cap I'm pretty happy about that as well there's a shield so it's happy um, I am gearing for crit as well because of the fact that it's only crit crit damage as well as um, you know uh, resistance being I mean a percentage of that is being passed on to the the pets or retinue members so my crit uh, with the with the um, kind of supreme creep kind of buff I've got there about 65% of uh, crit chance so it's not bad uh, two thirds of my hit are all crit uh, crit strength is 94 so that that take me to uh, to uh, to a different kind of uh, I mean at, at, at least I'll roll 90, 90, 95 when I do a crit uh, there's a there's dice rolling there that would uh, determine how how big the hit is and crit damage is uh, there about 56% but I, uh, I've i got other kind of crit gear as well I'm unlocking so that could be quite exciting to see how far this class can go but all in all having a lot of fun then I think if you have already played the uh, base classes uh, it's a no brainer should get this uh, this hero fun class uh, to experience a squad of your own and uh, and are playing in a one one team show you know um so yeah i enjoy it a lot so uh if you have any question you can feel free to drop me uh, a question at the comment box below i'm more than happy to answer those i will definitely share my build with you in due course i just want to fine tune a little bit more uh, on the gear part and then i can share what i've done and how i arrived to where i am today all right uh, thanks for tuning in i'll talk to you soon bye oh the emperor protects <laughs>